Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros are here playing tonight, this February the 1st, at the Forum with Wagons and Grace Woodruff. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster. And Alex Ebert, the lead singer, did drop in earlier today, which was very nice of him, and uh, recorded this tiny little interview about why he likes playing sideshows, as po- well, perhaps not opposed, as opposed to, but uh, in addition to big festival shows, and then a little song to go with it. The, the, the difference, I suppose, between the, the sideshow, I was thinking about this while we were doing a sideshow in, in Sydney, actually, like, what is the difference here? Like, what, what, what can we give... What can we give here that we can't necessarily give in a in a lot larger setting in the daytime, and vice versa, I guess. And uh, and then in, uh, we played in a night show in Sydney, and uh, and maybe we'll do this again in in Melbourne tonight. But right, well, in the middle of our huddle, right before the show, which we do every, uh, every show, I thought it would be a kind of a cool idea if uh, if if we came out with um, one instrument playing a. a a song. Actually, I thought I was thinking of maybe coming out and doing just an a cappella version of something, and then slowly the rest of the band joins. But instead, we went with um, uh, just the drums to start, and then the guitar, and then I came out uh, to start carries on the song. And um, and for us, it was actually really nerve wracking. It's like, is this going to work? We don't know. And and just to do things like that was really was really fun, and, and it came off great. And uh, and I don't think that that necessarily would have worked as well in a unmysterious setting like at the outdoor stage at a festival. And so we, were, you know, it's a bit more. You're able to create a bit more of a controlled uh, theater in a way. But the the great thing I think about playing in a club and and if anyone's coming to see tonight is that the energy gets to build on itself. And literally because of the by virtue of the walls and the ceiling. The energy and the vibrations, you know, continue to bounce back and forth and back into the center of the room, and and that is a real palpable like force. And uh, and if that gets going, it's um, it's just really special and very intimate. No matter how large the room is, it can start to feel very intimate. 